can't be because I just I want to have a good, great plumbing company that offers great service. That is not going to get you up right. off the mat. It is not. I want guy. I want to take care. I want to pay my guys the best. No, tell yes, you, I'm gonna take, that ain't going to be my more. It's not enough. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 419th episode of Potty Talking. Hey, I got a great episode for you. Okay. In this episode, we're going to unlock the key to a thriving plumbing business. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And if you're not in plumbing, you can, you know, home service business. Okay. Right. It's all, these, this all works. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. But in this episode, by the time we're done, you will have the key, the key. to have a, a thriving business, service okay. business, okay? All right. And so you ready to get at it? Let's do it. Okay, you can, you can handle anything, can't you? Sure. Yeah, you just kind of go way. along? Well, yeah. Okay. I'm just long for the ride, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a ride it's been. Okay. All right. Well, let's get right at it. You know, the key is these things are, you know, your success depends. It's, it's kind of like a three-legged stool. That's what, you know. Your success is sitting on this three-legged stool, okay, of these the, these three items, okay, okay or these three concepts or, mm-hmm. th- you know, three things you must have in place. And if you don't, don't have control or command mm-hmm. over these three things, okay, even just one of them, all right, that three-legged stool is going to collapse, okay? And that's what we see happen mm-hmm. time and time again. Mm-hmm. This is re- really, you know, the, the equation is really simple to being successful, you know, with your service business, okay, with your plumbing business, mm-hmm. all right? But it's just, you're missing. You're not doing these things. Okay. okay? All, right. All right. So what are these things? Tell me. Okay. So what are these three legs? Mm-hmm. Okay. Number one, the right purpose. The right purpose. Well, I fixed plumbing. Mm. My per- no, that's not, a, <laughs> that's not, that's not what we're talking about. Okay. The right purpose. What do you mean? Well, it's kind of, what's going to get you off the mat? What do you mean? You know? Mm. So I'm going to use one of my metaphors. Okay. Remember the movie Rocky? Oh, okay. Yeah, the, very, the very first movie. <laughs> it may have- they may okay. have heard this analogy okay, before. You probably weren't even ahead. born. Maybe, some may, but you know, the very first Rocky, okay, mm-hmm. and he's fighting Apollo Creed, which, as we're recording this, Carl Weathers just passed away. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he I just didn't passed know that. away. Oh, cool. So cool dude. I mean, Apollo he was a good Creed. guy, mm-hmm. you know, and even Sylvester Stallone. So, I mean, Apollo, you know, Carl Weathers, you know, Apollo just really kind of made, that's what made Rocky, mm-hmm. you know? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, Carl mm-hmm. Weathers just passed away, you know? Um, so anyways, yes. but it's like this night before the big fight, mm-hmm. okay? And he's done the training, and yes, he's a boxer and all that kind of stuff, all right? Rocky. Rocky, mm-hmm. but it wasn't the money, okay? It wasn't the boxing. That what? That, that really, but his purpose. Remember, he goes back to that scene after he, he, you know, he walks around the ring at night or whatever. It's the night before the big fight, and he climbs mm-hmm. back in his little dumpy apartment, his mm-hmm. little dumpy room, and, you know, and Adrian's there, and, mm-hmm. and he says, you know, I, I know, don't know if I can beat him, you know, whatever. And he's just, you know, way Rocky talks. <laughs> but if I can just be standing when that final bell rings, I'll know for the first time. I'm trying to do my Rocky imitation. You know, he has that <laughs> lip or whatever. Um, I'll know for the first time in my life that I'm not just another bum from the neighborhood. And that was his purpose. Mm, there we go. That mm-hmm. was the right purpose for him. Mm-hmm. That's what got him up off the mat. Mm-hmm. That I'm not just another bum I'll know for the first time I'm not just another bum from the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. You've got to have the right purpose for having your business. Yep. Okay. And it's not about what it is that you do. Okay. It's not about the money. Nope. It's not about how's it, what, what's it going to give you in your life. Right. And it's not okay. about, um, I want to serve my customers well. well. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, of course. You of course. must serve your customers That's, well, but that cannot be your purpose or you, you won't get up off the mat. You won't. You won't. So it has to be something that's really personal and, and, and deep, right? Is it um, something like Rocky? You know, I just don't, I, I, want, I want my, I want to change my family's generations for, for generations to come, right? right. Do a, a total um, shift. Is it, you know, because maybe, you know, you've come from, you know, just hard, hard times, Which right? Which a lot of, most, I mean, if we're in the trades, most, we kind of fall into it. Right. And There's a reason. Same here. I mean, my, right. both my parents were factory workers. You know, Richard's um, dad was an auto mechanic and there wasn't, there wasn't a lot of extra, all those things. So, um, so it has to be something that, you know, like that, if you want to change um, your kids and your grandkids' life, is it something where, man, I really want to be able to have um, this, this specific house for in this you know specific city or, or community or something for my kids where they feel safe is it sending your kids to private school is it making you, you if you want your kids to go to college which 
that's, you know, whatever, but whatever that is, what's the reason? It can't be because I just, I want to have a good, great plumbing company that offers great service. That is not going to get you up right. off the mat. It is not. I want guy. I want to take care. I want to pay my guys the best. No, take it's, not gonna take, gonna be it's, not it's not enough. It's okay. not enough because crap hits the fan. I almost said the wrong word and I don't cuss very often, yeah. very often. Um, crap will hit the fan. Crap will hit the fan in your plumbing business. Well, to stay with the fighter analogy, um, you know, I've often said, you know, in a championship fight, like, you know, Rocky and Apollo or whatever, mm -hmm. the championship rounds are those last three to four rounds when you're all bloody and, and your legs, legs, are, legs are tired and you just, you know, you just beat up mm -hmm. and the energy is gone. Okay. It's who wants it the most that's going to win. Yep. Okay. Who wants it the who, most is going to win. Deep down. And why do they fight? What are they fighting for? Mm -hmm. What, what, what it is? Well, with your business, the championship rounds are up front. Mm -hmm. So they're the first rounds. Okay. As you're spending cash and writing checks, your body can't check cash and, mm -hmm. and you're tired and you're working all these different hours and you're, you're wearing different hats because you're learning struggling to learn all this new all stuff. These, right. And mm -hmm. all this kind of stuff, you are wore out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Saying I provide the best service ain't going to get you through saying I'm taking care of guys better than ain't going to get you through. It's not. Okay. You, you all right. Have it. it has to be what, what is it? Mm -hmm. I know if I make it through this, I won't be just another bum from the neighborhood. Right. Okay. Yeah. Is it, you know, a certain dollar amount you want to have in, in a savings account or retirement account, or is there, you know, a lake house or something that you, you want so that you can pass on, you know, to your family that, or you guys you know, vacation at twice a year because you guys, because your family likes that kind of lifestyle. It's got to be something that is strong enough that when crap hits the fan, you keep going and you don't give up. Yes. That's it. Because there's going to be plenty of opportunity, plenty of opportunity to give up. And you're going to be, and and fire yourself. Or if you you and your wife work together, you're going to fire each other. There's going to be plenty of times to do that. Most uh, ninety five percent of all uh, home service businesses, trade service businesses, all right, fail within the first three years. Mm -hmm. Largely due because they don't understand the business, which is why we put you know with the Success Academy and all that we teach the business, okay, of the trades, mm -hmm. okay. Um, but also because of this, don't know why they don't know why. They don't know why they're doing what they're doing. It's just about the thing. Right. Okay. And it also can't be just, um, I want more freedom, right? right. And that, that's a thing, right? right. But because you can't qualify that or quantify that. You, what does freedom mean? You, you've got to then dig dig deep. Okay, so I just want more freedom. Is it more hours to be able to spend with your, your family, you know, kids, go on vacation? What does freedom represent? Is it a financial freedom? Um, do you want to be able to leave a legacy to your kids, you know, pass an inheritance onto your kids, whatever that freedom looks like, you've got to be able to identify it. It can't just be this um, ethereal thing out there. I want more freedom. And the reason why you give, make it, you make it real to give it an emotion. Mm -hmm. So it's, it wasn't just Rocky saying, I just want to be, have a chance to be that. I feel like I'm great. I'm feel I'm somebody. Right. Mm -hmm. Feel I'm some, whatever mm -hmm. it was. No, the emotion of where hard, I, I'm, I'm not going to be just another bum. I mean, that was powerful to him. I don't want to be just another bum from the neighborhood. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. So when he's, his head's pounding in and he can't, whatever. His nose he says, apart, cut me, Mick. Cut me right. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm surviving here because I'm not going to, I'm standing at the end. I'm not just another bum. Right. I've stood up against the best in the world, mm -hmm. taking the best in the world. And I'm still standing, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not yep. just another bum. And if, with your business, the hits are coming. Right off the bat. <laughs> and if you Gosh. don't know why you're doing what you're doing, mm -hmm. the right purpose. You'll, throw, not, you'll you, throw in the towel. Yep. You'll throw in the towel because it's too hard. Right. It, it becomes too hard. So. Okay. The okay. right purpose. Mm -hmm. Next. Yes. The right people. Got to have the right people. Got to have the right people. Mm -hmm. Definitely the right uh, people working for you. But in this case, I mean, there's different people, right? Different. Mm -hmm. um, but what, what, what I want to talk about is customers. And right so in customer. this case, it could be the right customer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everyone is not your customer. Every customer, and not every customer you can win with. There's customers that are the way, way that it's set up mm -hmm. is that you lose, they win, you lose. <laughs> um, that's new construction. New construction, commercial, anything, mm -hmm. you lose, they win. Now you can fight 40. I'm going to say it again. I've been, we're in my 40th year, mm -hmm. okay? I got 40 years into this, mm -hmm. all right? So what, what's the thing online where you can say, where it has like a whiteboard and it says, um, has a statement on it, you know, change my mind. Change my mind, Stephen Crowder. You know, yeah. so Stephen uh -huh. Crowder, whatever, you mm -hmm. know, see, yeah, I've seen that online or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's always something different, whatever. Change mm -hmm. my mind. Right. 
So what he's saying, you won't change my mind because right. two plus two equals four. Okay. <laughs> On this, you're, and of course, and that's what's, you know, we're starting out. A lot of times we start, we get to new, we work for new construction or whatever, because we mm-hmm. got jobs. Attention plumbing business owners. Are you ready to break free from the daily grind and experience the ultimate retreat? Then join us for the MDP Freedom Lifestyle Retreat nestled in the stunning paradise of Punta Cana, Dominican Republic from May 15th through the 19th. Indulge in an all-inclusive, all-adult getaway tailored exclusively for you. Picture this. Luxurious accommodations, gourmet dining, an array of activities await you in this tropical haven. But this retreat isn't just about relaxation. It's about business growth and networking with like-minded professionals. During your stay, gain invaluable insights, exchange ideas, and elevate your plumbing business to new heights. Connect with industry leaders, share strategies, and rejuvenate your entrepreneurial spirit in an environment designed for success. Don't miss this opportunity to recharge, refocus, and reimagine your business goals amidst the breathtaking beauty of Punta Cana. Reserve your spot now for the MDP Freedom Lifestyle Retreat from May 15th through the 19th. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash retreat, MDP Freedom Lifestyle Retreat, where relaxation meets business excellence. Book your escape today. And you know, we have work. Right. But We're, yeah, booked out for, for a few weeks okay. or something with some, some but that's the wrong. Job. That's the wrong customer. You will not. The odds already, it's already tough, okay, mm-hmm. but the odds are... Just you, you're gonna die. Uh, it's just it's rare. Well, you, well, there's other big companies that are doing new construction. Well, because it's a different, it's a game. Okay, there, there's payoffs and stuff going on. Well, underneath. at that point, they have, deeper, they have deeper pockets. pockets and there's real point. money going on, right? right okay, mm-hmm. and we're talking about how do you go from nothing, which is what we're about here at MDP. How do you go from nothing to being multi millions in just a couple of few years? Mm-hmm. Okay, where we just had one of our clients, mm-hmm. you know, three years ago, it was him in a truck. Yeah, I don't think we can give the amount. I, know, I won't give it. Well, I know. I don't know. Multi, multi. Multi um, into the, the third. <laughs> three tens. Yeah. Oh, okay. Three years ago was him in a truck. Mm. Him in a truck. Mm. Just got a letter of, uh, of um, letter intent. The intent or whatever and mm-hmm. signed me where they're going. They're selling the business for multi, multi millions. Mm-hmm. That's just one of our clients. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's from doing, it's knowing these kinds of things. Working for the right and customer. And working, which is also working for the right customer. Mm-hmm. Went from new, con- they can do a new construction to a new service. Right. Service is where it's at. Service okay, is where, where it's you, at. Where you can come from nothing, being $100,000 in debt, to creating a system that makes you, to the point where he's making a million dollars a month. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so it's possible. So right. yeah, we're, but working for we, we get it, guys, because you start out and you're thinking, okay, and even you know HVAC or or whatever, think, okay, I'm gonna um, you know do do yeah. these new new construction or commercial or whatever. Um, unless you have really deep pockets, unless you know you, you had somebody kind of set you up with your plumbing business, you got deep pockets, it, it never works because you always have to wait for your money. Not only do you have to wait for your money, you got to chase your money. Um, and we, we've talked about this on on lots of different episodes, right. but the Starting out with new construction is is death. You're being used. You're being used. Well, I and do million dollar homes. I mean, all the. I mean, it's like. And we get it because yeah. it makes it's like, man, I got a lot of work, right? Yes. I'm, I'm booked out for a few weeks on this uh, these new this new homes or, or whatever it might be. Um, but man, if you boil it down to the amount of time and the, the amount of money that you're making, and again, if you're having to wait longer than just a couple of days on your money. You're, you're losing, right? right? Because you you now, again, you, you've had to pay for the materials for that project. You've had to pay for labor more than likely, um, unless it's just you. But still, what, did you make any money? Did you pay yourself? Well, no, because you didn't have any money coming in, right? As you know, making the phone ring and often is vital to your home service business. That's why I'm a fan of Search Kings. Search Kings is a Google Premier partner and have helped my clients generate leads on Google Local Services and Google Ads. If you need your phone to ring, use Search Kings and tell them Richard sent you and you need the Million Dollar Plumber VIP treatment. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Search Kings and get on track to making your phone ring today. So new yeah. construction, and we did it. We, we That's exactly how we started out. A lot of our clients, Big exact, mistake. Our, a lot of our clients start out that same way for those very reasons. So we get it. We, we understand the logic or the thinking, but it, it doesn't work out. New, or new construction is death. Service. Much rather have $500 today than the promise of $5,000 next week. That's right. 
So right. mm-hmm. cash flow is king. Okay, right. All People right. work for the right customer. The right. And then and working for the right customer, Mrs. Jones. You've got lots of Mrs. Joneses. Lots and lots. Look at all the homes lots that of, are that are in your in your community. That's a key right there. Lots of customers. Mm-hmm. Well, I got all their homes. For the so, for the new construction for guys. For the new construction right. guy. Guy, yeah. Mm-hmm. A company, yeah. which is one customer. Right. So you could, they're, they're giving me all their homes. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, first of all, I'll come in there and take those homes from you. Mm-hmm. I'll just underbid it because it's a different game. Right. I, I kid. It's not a, well, no, I've known him since second grade and we're best. <laughs> no, no, we're not. Money talks and that. Okay. All Especially day long. I'll come mm-hmm. in and take your, I'll take all that work from you so quick. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's what happens. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, but it's just one customer. It's one customer of all the homes. That's lots of customers. Look at all the homes in your all community. Right. All of those are customers. All of them are customers. They all have plumbing in the house. Um, there's no such, there's no outhouses probably where you live. Um, so you have the customers. And then also um, what's great about that, you've got lots of customers. So if you get, do get a problem customer or someone you're like, man, they're just, they're Farm. always, they're always um, trying to get me down on price or they're always arguing or whatever. Don't service them again, right? You can choose. That's the beauty of it. I remember one customer or one of our clients, um, cause they, they were scrapping for every single client, every single customer, they're scrapping and trying to serve. Yeah. They finally got to a point where, um, they had this one customer that was just a pain in their side every time that person called. And she finally said, I let them know we won't service them anymore. And she said it was the most freeing thing to know. I don't have to put up with this crap anymore. I don't have to serve this customer that has always been a problem, been a problem to our employees, been a problem just all the way around. I, I can move on. That right. That's not the case when you have one customer, one one builder that's giving you all their homes. And guys, I'll put it in more, you know, more a street way. You know, I ain't nobody's boy. And so with that, I'm free. When you're working for the GC, uh, for GC or, or for, you know, commercial account, you're their boy. Believe me, you're their boy. Mm-hmm. And you will sing and dance when they tell you to sing and dance. Yep. Okay. Because you or want- bend over <laughs> when they want you to bend over. Because they- I mean, that sounds, but that's, that's the they reality. They owe you money. Right. They owe you money for the work that you've done. they know they got you. Yep. Okay. And they We're, know how big you are. Right. So- Okay, but we went to grade. We're since second grade. We know them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> Guys, we just, we've heard it a million times. Right. So serve Four the right- years. So serve the right customer, serve the right people. Right. So, all right. All right. Mm-hmm. Hey, I got something right for you. All right. For just joining us. Okay. <laughs> You're at the right place at the right time. <laughs> Check it out. Hey, question for you. Where do you want your plumbing business to be this time next year? Stuck on the same dead end road, puttering along in a slow lane as life passes you by? Or are you ready to supercharge your plumbing business and put the pedal down in the fast lane to success? Hey, Richard Bainey, The Million Dollar Plumber, here to tell you that you'll do just that with my 2024 Roadmap to Plumbing Business Success, where I lay out the exact mile markers you got to hit in order to have, manage, and grow a high-octane plumbing business with lots of great customers, a crew of plumbers eager to ride alongside you, and plenty of money in the tank. Now, you're going to want to buckle up because my Roadmap ain't just some guy. It's the GPS to having a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. So click the link or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash roadmap to grab your free copy of my 2024 Roadmap to Plumbing Business Success. And let's roll. All right. Welcome back. How about that? Yes, we are unlocking the key to a thriving plumbing or home service business in today's episode. And if you are watching out on YouTube, please give us a like, a thumbs up or something. Um, And then also um, subscribe, of course, and then hit the notifications Mm -hmm. to be notified when a new episode is released. You don't ever want to miss. You never know what's going to happen on Potty Talk. Um, And then if you're listening on one of the podcast players, go out and leave us a review. Let us know um, how much you love the show and, and just can hardly live without it. And wait eagerly each week each week for an episode give us some to love be come on released. man give yeah. us some love give us some love we'd appreciate it guys you guys right. know how reviews and those things work so we'd love to hear from you all right all right so, so we talked about the right purpose right we talked about the right people got our three-legged stool for yep. success okay mm-hmm. all right if we're missing any one of these the stool tips over you're gonna Down die goes, hit your head and right success is umpty dumpty dead all mm-hmm. right all right finally we have the third leg mm-hmm. the right process okay Okay. What is the right process? The right, there, there is a right process. Mm-hmm. Now it's simple, but there is a process. Okay. Okay. Now you've heard it. There's, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Yep. Okay. When did ever, anyone ever skin a cat? That's I what, don't know. Sometimes kinda, these sayings are like, where do they come where from? Where that kind of? Skin a cat. Well, I'm sure that I'll be on some list now that I said that. <laughs> skin a cat. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh, and I made someone feel uncomfortable, <laughs> personally uncomfortable. Because we're going to skin a cat. Man, because we don't even like cats. Maybe so. they're, they're a furry. They relate that they identify as a cat. <gasps> okay, and move I just on, talked about no, skin and my stars. <laughs> move on, please. Oh, these are crazy times. All right. All right. What okay. is the right process? Well, there is, there is a, you know, a right process in that you can go from nothing to a lot, mm-hmm. okay, and to be successful. And it re- really is simple. So it's just having those those processes in place. Okay. So it can be, uh, you know, breaking it down. It's as, as simple as having a process for um, operating through the day. So having like a field management software, mm-hmm. you know, have, having that, you yes. know, something like Field Pulse. Okay? Highly recommend Field Pulse. All right. Mm-hmm. The, the process in even how we answer the phone and who answers the phone. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now this can be overwhelming when, when you start out, but it, but it really isn't. Right. Okay. Cause we hear um, all the time, um, when, um, from our clients, one of the things, one of the reasons they, um, join the success Academy is they want, um, to get all the processes in place. But here's the thing. Typically you don't know what the processes process. are, right? right? Um, cause it can become overwhelming more than likely you've never started a business before plumbing or any other business. Um, and so it, it is a lot to, to think about in the beginning, what processes are involved. Even the process of, of getting stock on the truck, mm-hmm. you know, and restocking with, without it becoming everything, right. you know. Um, it can be more a, of a job than... Right, mm-hmm. that you're managing that. Right. Um, having the right process for that. The right process of even serving the customer. There yes. is that you do every single time, mm-hmm. not just when you decide you want to or you think about mm-hmm. it or whatever. Yep. The same process every single time. Mm-hmm. So even how you collect the money, yes. okay? Um, the process of how, how you, you, you look at, you know, your last, your financial results. Okay. It's having, um, you know, some of those boring kind of a things, the right mm-hmm. marketing, which we're all kind of, everyone gets kind of excited about. There's right. a right process to that. Mm-hmm. Hiring. Right. What, what's your hiring process, right. right? What, what do you do? Um, cause I know we talked about in the last episode, um, recruiting, always be recruiting. Okay. What does that look like? How do, how do you do it? Um, what, what's all involved from the moment, you know, we're starting to look for someone all the way through to when you hire someone, there's lots of steps in between. Um, and there's, there's, um, software and other things, um, companies that can help you with that. But bottom line, you have to be the one to decide what the process is. Um, firing, what's the process for firing someone? Right. Right. What's the best way to do that? Right. Right. You know, so it's, it's, it's not just gunslinging out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, you're trying to set, you know, put this, these systems in place, all right, so that you can scale and that it can scale without you. It becomes, a, it becomes a machine. It takes on a life of its own, okay? And that's what ultimately builds value. So we're putting this thing together, okay? You get the right purpose, the right people, all right, and the right processes in place. This thing becomes, this thing becomes a machine, all right, a money-making machine, and that's where, which is what you want to set up. Even if you're not thinking about selling at this time, a business needs to be set up to sell, okay? And it needs to be set up so that it just can run on its own, all right, without you, okay? Right now, if you can't leave your business for a long weekend or for a week and you because it needs you to run a direct- The wheels are going to come off. Oh, you are, you're you just a dead man plumbing. You, own, dead man, you own your job. Right. You right, own your job. At, at best, mm-hmm. okay? All right? It needs to be where it can run without you, mm-hmm. all right? And then that's what becomes valuable, then all of a sudden, you notice you got real money calling you, you know, hey, we're, we're such and such organization and we buy service businesses. Mm-hmm. You ever interested in selling? You and know? they're going to look at the processes. Right. That's the first That's, thing they're going to do. They're going to look at all the processes. Not, right. not, not your customer list or that you're a great plumber and a nice guy and <laughs> we just love our people and love our customers. And, oh, oh. <laughs> all right. They're going to look at, is, is there a process is here? Is there a process that if you leave, you know, I buy your business and you leave. Can I then take that business and just and just turn it on, um, put more cash into it for marketing and just grow it? Right. right. That's what they want to see. Um, something that is, is scalable. There we go. Yeah. All right. So yeah, the right process. It's all kind of process. Uh, this is my favorite. Hey, th- part. those are those are three legs <laughs> you've got to got to have in place. Okay. And if you don't have these in place, all right, or if you're, you're looking, well, okay, how do I do this? We yeah. have the answer. You yeah. know what? <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> I know. It's funny. You gotta have fun with it. You know, it's it's a success academy. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's all it's all there for you. Um, it's you know twelve modules that cover all these aspects. Mm-hmm. Make sure you're covered. Over 150 videos. All right, there's coaching. There's there's a community. It's all up to you on how much you how much you want to be you know commit to. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And right now you, you can check it out. We have a 14 day free trial. Simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash success mm-hmm. to at the very least learn more. Yep. 
And but at the most, grab your grab your free trial, yep. okay, and get going. Okay. okay, great. Unlocking the key. We unlocked the key to there we the go. thriving plumbing business. It is, it is that simple. Okay. And not to say easy. Nope. But it's that that really is that simple. There's That's, no easy button. Right. Okay. <laughs> so there you go. All right. Good to have you here. Hey, but before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So get out there, plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.